Hey guys, so yes, uh, before I even show you this recipe, I'm gonna tell you make sure you cool off that meat before you shred it, otherwise, you're gonna get chunks rather than shreds. It shreds nicely once the meat has cooled off, and you can actually touch it and not burn your fingers like I did with that last video I did but I did manage to get some nice shreds and I did get some nice chunks but that's okay because it's gonna go down the same hole okay so here we are we're gonna make my husband one of his favorite and it's a nice lunch meat that your kids could bring to school uh, or you could bring to uh, lunches for work and we're gonna make some beautiful chicken salad sandwich or we can call it chicken salad sandwich and it is made with our shredded meat now I'm going to use my older meat that I have and I am just going to start taking this meat and breaking it up even more into almost like small smallish bits you don't want to have super chunks in your mouth and you don't want this super thin either right okay we're gonna start with that and just to show you uh, why I'm doing these recipes is just to show you how versatile that meat really is and uh, when you have it on hand you really can do a lot of things and this is also great if you're having a party make it ahead of time you can make this days ahead of time season it have it all put together for yourself all you have to do is put it on the bread last minute so here we go and when you see your chicken meat that looks like that it's no different than when you see a piece of chicken meat that was roasted in the oven and it got a little brown on you that goes just as good inside your chicken salad because it has that but you have that extra you know what I'm saying if you've had chicken salad sandwiches before you know what I'm talking about or turkey or your turkey salad uh, sandwiches you know exactly what I am saying so basically with that meat you're able to really make a lot of great dishes I like it for you guys. I sent my husband on a wild goose chase. Okay, so we're going to put, I'm going to cut some more chicken, of course, or chicken, but I'm going to cut my celery in smallish pieces. Okay, there we go. If we need more, uh, more celery, we'll add more. Probably cut some more chicken or chicken. You know what it is when you're used to saying something it's hard to break that habit it's like I still call my chicken chicken when my grandkids come over because they're born vegan and I say come on hurry up eat your chicken we don't eat chicken nana or I'll say come on girls finish eating your meat when I say meat I mean my vegan meat right meat is this meat I says, do you trust me, girls? Am I going to give you meat or am I going to give you vegan food? You're going to give me vegan food? No, no. They're so worried that they're going to end up eating meat. We don't eat meat. We don't eat chicken. My daughter says, Matt, just say seitan or tofu or... But hard, what's the saying? Old habits are hard to... Old habits die hard. Exactly. So... I mean well, but they don't want to hear that. So I got to be really careful around my granddaughters. And it's like before I was calling this chicken. It really isn't chicken. It might look like chicken. It might taste like chicken, but it's not chicken. I say make the full batch if you're going to make it because it really is delicious and it's going to go a long, long way. So you don't want your pieces super small and you don't want your pieces super big, but there you go. We've got some of that. 
He wants to play. My doggy oh, is so he's sad. Sleeping. Oh, he's sleeping. <laughs> He's been running around. As soon as you smile at him, he picks up his toy and he starts running around the table because he wants you to chase him and play with him. And I haven't had time today, so he's a little sad. I just lost a piece of chicken on the floor. My dog will pick it up. Thank you, Eric. Okay. And to that, we're going to put a full onion chopped really fine. And if you don't want to use onion, you can use... Um, some scallions, whatever you prefer. If you want to use shallots, you use shallots. This is it. You know, I really love to hear from you guys. If you're going to try some of my recipes, come back. Let me know how you like them. And you know what the best comments are when they you when some of you come back and you tell me, you know what, Connie, your recipes is what's keeping me vegan. I am so happy to hear that. I can't even tell you how happy I am. Got to take my hands away from this blade because it is sharp, sharp, sharp. There we go. Beautiful. I'll get more celery. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm just going to put one more. Just a little bit more here. Now, if you want, you could also shred some carrots in this. Shred it really fine. That's up to you. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. There we go. Just want to clean up this mess. We're just going to put a little bit of fresh dill. We're going to put some salt. Just a little bit of good olive oil. Not much because we're going to put mayo. One, we'll start off with two, and if we need more, we'll add more. <laughs> Some black pepper. And look at that. Look what we have, guys. How easy. And look how beautiful that is. Just let me taste it. Mm-hmm. This is simply the best. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little extra black pepper. And this, like I said, if you're having a party, you do it ahead of time. So you have it ready for you rather than uh, having to do everything the last minute. So you could do this a couple of days ahead. And what it does is everything marries together and the flavors blend and then you're going to make your sandwiches and that's it presto you are done now if you want you could shred some carrots with this let's use this put the mayo away just a drop of maple about a half a teaspoon and a little bit of dijon mustard now, you can even put a seeded mustard if you like the seeded mustard. Let me see. Do I have any of the seeded one? Okay. Seeded mustard. Use a little bit of that instead. And let me tell you, it is going to be so good. Maybe a little more. There you go. I'm going to just mix this up. There you go. 
perfecto. There you go. Remember, this is really seasoned to taste, right? So if you like extra salt, you put extra salt. If you don't want to put mustard, you don't like mustard, don't put the mustard. Maple adds just a little bit of uh, sweetness to your dish. But basically what you need is celery, onion, salt, pepper. And some of this delicious chicken meat. And look, we have chicken salad sandwich. Presto, done. And ready for a beautiful sandwich. So I hope you like this recipe. And guess what, guys? I'll see you in the next one. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.